Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Bethany Mountainwood and today I'm going to be buying a brand new horse. I'm really looking forward to this because I have 952 star coins. So finally I am able to buy a horse that I've been looking forward to buying for a while now. Okay, so before I go and buy that horse, I am actually going to check the ones out here, just in case I find one that I like more, but I'm not going to think that I will. I like this Fauncy, but she's um, a bit old now, isn't she? Like, she's still Generation 3, but she came out like one of the new ones. I've got Snow Dancer, that is Luna in my role plays, if you knew. I do love this horse, I don't know how to pronounce his name, but um, I haven't got an Icelandic and yeah, I'm not a big fan of any of these horses. I love this little pony, it reminds me of gingerbread, but um, I won't be buying that one today, no, okay, right, let's go then. I'm actually really excited to be buying this horse. When they first came out, I was not a big fan of them, but um, I've had time to let them settle in, let other people buy them, and see. And I've seen them around, and I've seen them in role plays and stuff, and I love them. Okay, so we're going to go to Silverglade Manor. I'm pretty sure you probably know what horse I'm talking about at this point. Okay, we are now here, and I am not going to go straight to them, um, I'm going to look around, oh, but I don't think, again, I don't think there is other horses I want, although, I am looking to buy a English showbread soon, but, actually, you know what, I like these, this bay, and, where's the other one? Oh, yeah, this one. But I just think they're, again, a bit old. I know they're not, but like, yeah. I'm looking for more of newer ones because they're much better quality. And yeah, the quick ones are nice. Anyway, so here they are. I'm going to be buying a Dutch warm blood. Okay, so I absolutely love this liver chestnut. I just, it's a bit popular and it's not quite what I'm looking for. Uh, oh yeah, unfortunately I don't have these star coins to change their main style either, but that's okay because I like the short mane on them. Anyways, I love this grey, it's so cute, but I counted up the horses in my own stable and I have like six greys out of like nine horses or something, so that's not good. So that's why I'm not going to be getting this one. I love it though, so that'll probably be on my wish list. The next horse I was thinking of was this Cremello Polino. I can't remember, but it's really nice. But again, it's a light coloured horse and I'm looking for more of a darker one because I have so many light ones. Now, this black one is way too dark. I know that's what black horses are they're obviously meant to be dark the chestnut is way too plasticky for me it looks fake I know they are fake but still um, it just doesn't look right compared to the other ones the next one I was thinking of is where is it oh this this light bay I do like this one but it looks so much better with different manes and like I said, I don't have enough money to change the mane. I could have waited until next week, but no. So I'm not a big fan of that one, so I'm not going to be getting that one. Instead, I will be getting this one, the Seal Brown or Seal Bay, depending on how you put it. I absolutely love him. He's so pretty. He just has a little bit of a baby face, which I think is sweet. 
Okay, so we are now going to look at the gates. I love the walk. It's just nice and collected. Just a chill one. The um, trot is very flowy, very fancy. I love fancy horses, so that's great. He's really picking up his feet, which is very nice. So the canter, I think that the canter is probably the best gait out of all of them. It's really nice. It's just flowy, smooth, I think. And the role plays that would look good. On the gallop, a lot of people didn't like how high the front legs came up, but I love it because it's like more dressagey, etc. So the run, the fast gallop, is just a regular run. I think that's good. It's just normal. But again, look at that baby face. It's so cute. So then we have the special movement, the extended trot. I think this is a very good addition and I'm very happy that Star Stable added it. Then we have the Piaf, a dressage move, and I think it looks good. Again, very nice. But yeah, so I'm going to go buy this horse now because I'm really looking forward to it. I'm really excited. Okay, so I already have a name picked out. So let me find it. I completely forgot that there's the search bar up here. Okay. okay, so his name is going to be, oops, my reshade, <laughs> Quest, because, I don't know, I came across the name and I was like, that really suits him. So his name is going to be Quest. Um, he's probably, well, we know he's going to be a boy. He, I'm not sure, I can't choose between youngster and adult but I'll probably just put it as youngster for now it will probably be changed to adult later but yes um, I'll leave it as youngster for now look at him he's so cute oh I'm excited right so he is going to be a stallion yeah I think stallion works um, because I think it'd be cute to have like an innocent little stallion but yeah let's go ahead and buy this horse oh I did it oh my god he's so cute he's massive oh again our hands don't touch the horse why are his hooves dusty? Oh, oh, I forgot to take the tack off, Aurora. That's okay, send him to stable. Okay, we've got to do a victory rare. Yay! Now I'll only have two star coins. Anyways, let's go back to the barn and we can go see our brand new horse. Okay, so here's Aurora looking snazzy in her purple hair collar. Oh, He's so cute. He's massive compared to the other horses. Oh, his little blaze. Blaze? Head marking is so cute. No, I don't. Let me kill him. Wait, he's massive. I love him. I can already tell how fancy he is. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put on the tack that I was wearing because we need some tack. Sorry, I'm gonna give you some bows. Wait, he looks so good in red. Oh, he looks so good. Okay, so I am just quickly going to compare him to the Belgian Warm Blood that was released. Like, I can't remember. Oh, he's huge. He's so much more chunky than Phoenix. Wait, oh, no. Look at the detail, look at the difference between them. Phoenix is so much more cartoony than him. Okay, anyways, so we're out here now and I am going to um, get him to level two so he can gallop and then I'm going to get him a brand new head collar and also I'm going to get him some boots because I've been wanting them. Okay, let's go.
Okay, so we are now here at the second part of the video where I am going to be doing a little bit of a Q&A. So this is a voiceover um, and I've been sent a couple of questions by you guys on my Instagram and YouTube. Make sure you subscribe to me on YouTube and follow me on Instagram. So without further ado, let's get into the questions. Okay, so the first question says, how many years have you been playing and how do you enjoy it now? So I have been playing since 2021, so around two to three years, which is mad now that I think about it. I love to train my horses, which is partially the reason I bought Quest because I was running out of horses to train. So yeah, I also love to make content for you guys. Filming is my happy place. I love filming, especially when I have Star Rider on my alternate account. But yeah, that's how I enjoy it. And thank you for your submission. Right, so the next question says, do you have any pets? If yes, how many? If no, what would you want? So yes, I do have pets. I have three cats, one dog. I also have three fish one chameleon as well so i have quite the variety um i am going to answer the second question as well um i have always wanted horses so when i'm older i will definitely be loaning or getting my own horses because well it's such a dream this one says what are all of your horses names so this one here is Quest. There is Phoenix, Beauty, Aurora. We also have Bear, Storm, Jellybean. We also have Zara, who is the skeleton horse. We also have Fairy, my starter horse, Cinnamon Biscuit. And then we have Winter Surprise, Wish, and I'm pretty sure that's it. The next one says, what is your opinion on the new characters? Well, in my opinion, I think the new characters are really well made. Other than the weird rolling the shoulders animation, I think they didn't need that. But other than that, I think the new characters are really good. They if anything should have made the body shapes a bit more diverse i know they planned on adding three more but they like scrapped that or something i think but um yeah i really like them i think they're much better than the other characters i do like the old characters though although because i am a new player i didn't have the nostalgia that some players do the next question says what is your favourite thing about SSO? My favourite thing about Star Stable is how good the customization options are. I love the fact that we can just dress our horse up in whatever way we want, whether that's formal, silly, for competitions, or bareback riding. I think it's probably the best thing I think Star Stable is also probably one of the best horse games, so I'm very happy that I got the opportunity to start playing it. When did you start playing SSO and why? Like I said earlier, I started playing Star Stable in 2021, which was a while ago now. I started playing it because I came across Star Stable while I was browsing through YouTube once. I was just looking through my horse videos that I used to watch and a video of a Star Stable roleplay came up so I clicked on it because it looked interesting and I couldn't stop watching those roleplays so after watching almost every single roleplay on the YouTube at that time I searched up Star Stable roleplayers to see what else was in store and after about probably two years of me watching Star Stable videos 
without having the Star Stable account, I finally got a laptop from my uncle and I was able to download Star Stable. I made an account and for the first two years of me playing, I didn't have Star Rider, so I was playing for free and it was really boring. <laughs> it was really boring. But last year, in May 2023, I finally got Lifetime Star Rider and I finally made my own YouTube channel because I wanted to repay to you guys what had made me want to start Star Stable in the beginning. So, there you go. So, the next question is, what is your favorite Star Stable horse? Now, I got this asked a lot. So, my favorite Generation 3 Star Stable horse is probably the Dutch Warmblood or the American Paint Horse. I love them both. The American Paint Horse colors are beautiful. I definitely want a few more. Uh, my favorite horse so far, I think this means the horses I own. So I've got to say it's got to be Quest, the horse I bought in this video. He's just so beautiful. His gates are perfect. I can't fault any of them. Normally with a horse, I will like the coat or I will like the gates, but something will be off about a gate. But with the Dutch Warmblood, I love all the gates. I'm really happy with all of them. So yeah, Quest has got to be my favorite horse. And my favorite horse breed is the American Paint Horse or the Dutch Warmblood. Thank you everyone so much for watching this video. I hope to see you all in the next one. Goodbye!